What's up guys? Today I'm going to give you a complete step-by-step -step guide for burning fat on the ketogenic diet, including exactly what to eat and how much of it to eat for your particular body. Don't worry, you're not going to have to eat six small meals a day, only breakfast, lunch, and dinner like a normal person, because I'm sure that you're very busy. I'll show you meal by meal what to eat for you to be able to start shredding pounds of fat today with no additional information necessary. So let's get in the kitchen and get started. For breakfast, I'm gonna have four slices of bacon, four whole eggs. I'm gonna add some fresh chives to uh, enhance the flavor. And for my vegetable, I'm gonna have about a fist of spinach. Exactly how you're gonna customize it for yourself, I'm gonna explain in a second. For lunch, we're making burgers. We're gonna start with 80-20 ground beef. That would be ideal, but remember that the ketogenic diet is all about being high in fat. We want almost 70 to 75% of our diet coming from fat, so that's why we're looking for the 80% lean. And since we're not allowed too many carbs, we're gonna have it with portobello buns. Then I got my cheese. I'm gonna use two slices, and again, I'm gonna tell you exactly how much you can use in a second. I'm gonna have one slice of tomato and a slice of onion, and that's gonna go on my burger. And then for my veggies in that meal, I'm gonna have about a fist worth of asparagus. And when this breaks up, because you're gonna wanna break these ends off, it's gonna come out to about a fist. With my asparagus, I'm gonna add some olive oil on there to add some flavor, and I'm also gonna add some Parmesan cheese. So that's gonna be additional fats for the ketogenic diet. And then for dinner, we're gonna have chicken wings. I'm gonna have six of these chicken wings, and I'm gonna make mashed cauliflower. I would normally use only half a head of cauliflower because they do have carbs. When we're on ketogenic, we wanna keep the carbs low, but this is such a small uh, head, it's like the size of my fist, so this is gonna be considered my half a head of cauliflower. And I'm gonna add butter and salt to that to turn it into mashed cauliflower. It'll taste just like mashed potatoes, it's delicious. And also, I'm gonna be adding hot sauce to the wings to make them taste better and to give them flavor. As far as my seasonings, I'll be using olive oil cooking spray, I'll also be using salt, bamberger seasoning for the burger, parsley flakes, uh, chicken seasoning for the wings, some minced garlic, Parmesan cheese, and black pepper. That's all you need. All right, so let me tell you now exactly how you're gonna calculate the amount of calories, the amount of fats, carbs. I'm sure you're wondering exactly how this is gonna work for you. So I'm gonna show you exactly how that's done right on my computer. Okay, so you're gonna start by using the macro calculator available on our website, and I'll include a link below in the description. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my stats. Now, the really cool thing about this calculator is that the activity level that most of these calorie calculators are set to they highly overestimate the amount of calories you can eat. This one I personally made, I know that this one, uh, the calculations it gives you are perfect for fat loss. So I actually don't know my body fat, let's say 12%, and then we're looking for fat loss. We're gonna click the fat loss button right here. And we're just gonna click calculate. Obviously input your own attributes. So up top you'll see your maintenance calories, 2,993 per day. Now that's not the number you wanna go for. You'll also see moderate fat loss, which is about like a pound a week. Then fast fat loss, that's like two pounds a week. I'm gonna go with fast fat loss. So you're gonna take this number right here, 2,320 calories. I actually already have done ketogenic dieting for a couple weeks, so I'm gonna drop this a little lower because my fat loss is slowing down a little bit. So I'm gonna drop it by roughly 100. I'm starting off with 2,230 calories. Calories. And what we're going for is 70% fat, 25% protein, and 5% carbs. So 70% of 2,230 is 1,561 calories. 25% of 2,230 is 557. 5% of this number is 112. Now as far as calculating your macros, we're going to divide the fats by 9, we're going to divide the protein by 4, and we're going to divide the carbs by 4. And that gives us these macros. So 173 grams of fat, 139 grams of protein and 28 grams of carbs. Again, just plug your numbers in. And this right here is the diet that I came up with. So I know that I'm starting off with 173 grams of fat, 139 protein, 28 carbs. For breakfast, I'm gonna have four whole eggs, which is 16 grams of fat, 24 grams of protein, one large avocado, 21 grams of fat, three grams of protein, 12 grams of carbs, four slices of bacon, 13 grams of fat, 12 grams of protein, one fist of spinach, which we're really not going to count as anything because that's mostly there just for vitamins and minerals and uh, the macros in there are pretty much negligible. The total for breakfast is going to be 50 grams of fat and 39 grams of protein. Then for lunch, we got six ounces of ground beef. We want to get 80-20, so the higher the fat, the better for ketogenic. We got two slices of cheddar cheese, 18 grams of fat, 14 grams of protein, two portobello mushroom buns, again negligible, one slice of tomato and red onion, negligible, one fist of asparagus, 
pretty much negligible. One tablespoon of olive oil, 14 more grams of fat, and also three tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. So that's four grams of fat and six grams of protein. And we're going to add that into the asparagus. The total for lunch is 66 grams of fat and 48 grams of protein. Then for dinner, we have six chicken wings, which is about 36 grams of fat and 48 grams of protein. Half a head of cauliflower, which is about one gram of fat, believe it or not. Five grams of protein and 15 grams of carbs. One and a half tablespoon of grass-fed butter. We're going to add that into the head of cauliflower that we're going to mash up. That's going to be 18 grams of fat. And then we got a total of 55 grams of fat for dinner, 53 grams of protein. So my totals at the end were 171 grams of fat, 140 grams of protein, and 27 grams of carbs. So you always want to start first with the things that are going to take the longest to cook. The stuff that's going to take the longest is the stuff that we have to boil and the stuff that we have to cook in the oven. What we do with the cauliflower, pop off this part, and then you take your head of cauliflower and you throw it right into a pot of water and you're going to set that pot of water to boil. Next, I'm going to want to pull out a baking sheet. I'm going to lightly coat the pan with some olive oil cooking spray. For this meal, I get six wings, so I'm just going to pull the wings right out of here. These are wingettes. There we go. So there are my six wings. Now to add some flavor, I'm going to throw on some kicking chicken seasoning. And then I'm also going to add some red hot wing sauce. This stuff is spicy, so don't go too crazy. And then I'm just going to mix that all together. These are ready to go. We're going to set our oven to 400 degrees. Next up, we're going to grab two baking sheets. And I'm going to grab my washed asparagus. I'm going to crack it right where it cracks easily. Like I shouldn't have to put a lot of pressure. And I was aiming for about a fist and that's going to be about a fist right there. And I also want to add one tablespoon of olive oil. So there we go. We got about a tablespoon there and three tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. And lastly, I want to add some garlic, mix it together. And then with the mushrooms, we don't want to necessarily wash them. We just want to wipe them off because there will be some dirt. So once you have it wiped off, we're going to spray each side lightly with some olive oil cooking spray. And then we're going to put it face up right into our baking dish. Cool, so we could throw these two in the oven now. And actually it looks like my oven is pretty much preheated now, so I could throw everything in there. So we got the asparagus, we got the chicken for dinner, that asparagus was for lunch, and then we got the mushroom caps. Our cauliflower is already boiling, so we just want to wait until that's really soft so we can mash it. So let it boil for a little bit. The other thing that's going to take a little while to cook are my eggs and my avocado. And you guys might be thinking, wait, how does that take so long? Well, it's because I'm actually going to be oven baking uh, the egg and the avocado together with two of them. The other two, I'm going to put it on the pan and use the bacon oil because again, ketogenic is all about having a lot of fats. I'm going to grab another baking pan, lightly spray it with some olive oil. Then I'm going to cut my avocado in half going around in a circle around the core. And then I'm just gonna twist and open, and there we go. So then I just gotta pop the seed out, and then the skin should come off pretty easily from here. So just peel the skin off. Now I wanna take one of these eggs, and these are free range eggs. These eggs are a very good source of high quality, inexpensive protein. So crack the egg, and then we're gonna pour it into our avocado. We're gonna sprinkle on some parsley flakes, a little bit of black pepper, some salt, and we're also gonna throw on some chives. Cool, so throw this right in the oven. And it's been about 10 minutes since I put my portobello mushrooms in here, so I wanna pull them out real quick because I'm gonna to wanna to flip them after 10 minutes and let them cook for another five. So I'm just gonna flip these guys. And don't worry, they get really black. You probably didn't burn them, that's just what happens when you cook them. Now that we got the stuff that takes forever to cook out of the way, we can move on to the stuff on the frying pan. So for breakfast, we're having the bacon. I'm allowed four slices of bacon for breakfast. Cool, so I'm gonna take my four slices of bacon and I'm gonna throw them right on the pan. I'm gonna let that cook and then I'm gonna use the grease from the bacon to cook my eggs. Again, I can't say this enough, ketogenic is very high in fat. And that right there was the five minutes that I needed for the mushrooms to be done. So I can pull that out now. So these, as you can see, they are done. They are nice and soft and ready to go. We're gonna make great burger buns. While all that's cooking, I'm gonna get started my burger. Okay, so uh, this says that it's got 16 ounces, so it's got a pound. We want six ounces for this meal. So I'm gonna want a little less than half, somewhere around here. That's about a little less than half right there. So this is about six ounces. This is for the lazy people that don't feel like measuring, which is me. I'm gonna season it with the Bam Burger seasoning. Remember, don't be afraid of seasoning. 
throw that right on in there, and then I'm just gonna mix it all together and shape it into a patty. So there we go, shape into a burger, flatten it out a little, good, ready to go. And now we're gonna throw that onto the burner, and our bacon definitely needs to be flipped at this point. Now I have a foreman grill, but I purposely chose to cook it in the frying pan because that's gonna gather up the oil. All done with the bacon, so I can just throw that onto a plate for now. And I'm gonna use that oil to cook my other two eggs and my spinach. But before I do that, I'm gonna check on my oven because I think a lot of this stuff is done. Chicken wings are definitely done, they look great. Asparagus is done. The avocado can use a little bit more cooking. So we're gonna leave that in there for a little longer. I'm gonna plate these two, and remember these are two different meals. The wings are for dinner, and the asparagus is for lunch. So we got breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Our burger looks like it's ready to flip, and uh, we can cover that for a bit to make sure that it cooks all the way through. And then I'm gonna go back to cooking the eggs now. So I got my two eggs, and then I want a fist of spinach, so that's gonna be about half this bag. And then I am just going to mix this all together. So this is done, it can be plated now. Looks good, let me check my oven. I think that meal is totally done. Looks like these guys are all done, so I'm just gonna take that out. So two avocados right there, and then the rest of my leftover egg. It looks like both my burger and the cauliflower is almost done, so I'm just gonna coat it with two slices of cheese, top it off with that, cover it up, let it melt on there. And I could turn off the burner and uh, pull the cauliflower off and drain it. So just strain it with a strainer and just leave it in there to drain. Okay, so that's done right there, we could turn that off. So we got our cauliflower here now, we're just gonna throw it back into that same pot that we're using to cook it in after we drain it. And then we're gonna use a masher to mash this down. Now we wanna add a tablespoon and a half of the Kerrygold Pure Irish Butter. As you can see right here, it indicates exactly how much you should have, so it's about a little less than two tablespoons right about here. Okay, cool, so you can add that in. I like to add a little bit of garlic as well. Cool. And also I like to add a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of salt. Cool, so I'm just gonna mix this all together and then I'm gonna add that to my dinner. And believe it or not guys, this tastes a lot like potatoes. The last thing I wanna do now is cut a slice of onion for my burger. I'm actually gonna heat it up a little bit. While that heats up, I'm gonna prep my burger buns. Throw this juicy burger right on there. Wow, this thing is juicy. I'm gonna get a slice of tomato, a little bit of spinach, and I'm gonna top it off with my onion. And there you have it guys, these are my three meals. So we got breakfast, we got the two eggs, the two whole eggs um, that are just cooked, mixed in with the spinach. Also the two whole eggs that are cooked into the avocado. We got two fists of spinach. We also got four slices of bacon. This meal has a total of 50 grams of fat and 39 grams of protein. And virtually no carbs because the spinach pretty much doesn't even count as carbs, it's so little in carbs. Which is exactly what we want for our ketogenic meal. For lunch, we have our burger, and this burger, I'm telling you, it's gonna be delicious. Uh, we have our burger with the asparagus. Two slices of cheddar cheese in there for the fats. Uh, two of the portobello mushroom buns, some spinach, a slice of tomato, a slice of red onion. And then we have the asparagus, which is gonna have the Parmesan cheese for the fat and also the olive oil. This meal totals at 66 grams of fat and 48 grams of protein. And then for the last meal, we have dinner. So last but not least, and we have the six chicken wings, which is gonna be quite a lot of fat and protein. Also, we got the head of cauliflower, half a head of cauliflower. We turned it into mashed cauliflower, and the cauliflower has a tablespoon and a half of grass-fed butter in it. The totals for this meal, we got 55 grams of fat, 53 grams of protein, and believe it or not, the cauliflower has uh, close to 15 grams of carbs. So between these two, the avocado and the cauliflower, I'm getting the carbs that I need. We wanna try to keep our carbs under 30 when we're doing ketogenic diets. And that's it, guys. Obviously, you would wanna portion out these meals into containers so they're ready to go for you uh, for the day. So you can cook multiple servings of this. Just multiply the total amount by the amount of days that you're cooking for. So if you're cooking for three days, you're gonna multiply by three. All right, guys, so if you follow the same steps I did, you'll be able to make your own keto diet plan from scratch. If you enjoyed this video and you feel like it helped you out, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel. It really helps motivate me to make more videos like this and that ultimately helps more people. Also, if you want a done for you diet plan in which you don't have to track calories, head on over to our website, gravitytransformation.com and try the fat loss Kickstarter. We'll give you a meal plan that's customized based on your weight and your goals 
and this format has been the same structure used on my clients in my two gyms here in New Jersey. And they're losing 20 pounds or 5% body fat in just six weeks. If you don't believe it, check it out. Visit our website, gravitytransformation.com. I'll see you guys.